Well, while the Olympic torch continues its record-breaking trip to Sochi, disabled athletes are getting psyched up for their moment to shine, with the Winter Paralympics now less than 100 days away. RT's Lucy Kafanov met some of Russia's medal hopes. Ice hockey as it should be. Intense, fierce, determined and fast. Hockey, also hockey. It's still that? hockey, just with two sticks, one in each hand. With extra risks... You're constantly flying around at high speeds, collisions and everything. It's all crazy fast. And tireless commitment. We're here training all the time, morning to night, every day. These 17 Paralympic athletes are in the 2014 Russia sledge hockey team. And 36-year-old Vadim Silukin is their captain. He was injured in 2002 while serving in the Russian military in Chechnya. Before the age of 25, I used to have a completely different life. But after the injury, I turned to sports to realize my potential. He went from swimming to taking up a chance to join Russia's brand new sledge hockey squad. No one is going to bring you things on a silver platter. But here we had an opportunity to work for it. Since 2009, when we were told we were going to participate in the Sochi Paralympics, it's been our driving force. In a country that's struggled to accommodate people's disabilities, Russia's Paralympic coach says the team is helping to change perceptions. These guys managed to prove to themselves, their relatives and the entire society that they are not people with disabilities, but people with unlimited abilities. Sledge hockey has been a part of Paralympics since 1994, but this is the first year that Russia will compete. The sport only came here four years ago, as Vadim remembers. We were just staring at one another, not really knowing what to do. Let me show you. Here is the sledge, this is the blade, and this small area is the seat, which means it's terribly unsteady. So just imagine, you have to keep your balance and simultaneously carry the puck. You keep falling down. Then it takes a lot of time to get back up, but now we're skilled at it. For most of these sledge hockey players, the road to Sochi hasn't been easy. It's taken an immense amount of hard work, personal sacrifice and dedication. But the payoff isn't just on the ice. After this experience, I believe that people who've survived a car crash or a plane crash will look at us and realize that even with an injury like that, you can live on. You can set your own goals and achieve them. Lucy Kafanov, RT. Tula Region, Russia.